Lincoln High School cornerback Jaleel Florence is about to make his college intentions known right here on Good Morning San Diego. Paul Rudy couldn't miss the event. He is there live at Lincoln High School with Jaleel and the big announcement. I can't wait. Yeah, I, Laura and I, you know, I just, these are the moments that make it fun working in our business. And I, I you're, as you said, I could not miss it. I love doing these uh, announcements. We've done a bunch. And just a quick reminder, everybody, it's open to anybody. As long as you haven't made your, if your athletic ability is going to pay for your uh, college education and you've kept it under uh under wraps and you haven't told anybody and you're going to make your announcement, the offer is open to any guy or gal out there in any sport. If you're going to a D1 college on a scholarship, a D2 scholar school on a scholarship, we'll be there for you. You just have to keep it quiet. It can't be on social media first. By the way, the Prep Picks Report Season 23 set to kick off on the 20th of August, a week from tomorrow. We will have the all the new faces in, all the old faces in. It's going to be a lot of fun. But one segment that's coming back is Carol's Corner. And the first corner in Carol's Corner is tonight's, this morning's uh, uh, inductee. It was uh, Jaleel Florence. And I'll tell you what, Coach Carol does not gush over many athletes. But listen to him gush over Jaleel Florence. You can see why so many Division I colleges want this kid's athleticism. He is a classic major college corner. And so that brings in our guest of honor, Jaleel Florence. How excited are you right now, young man? Uh, I'm super excited. Oh, right I get to hold the mic for sure. I'm super <laughs> excited right now. He's glad to be in the position that I am right now. All right. We have an Instagram post of all your offers. I, I think we're going to throw that up. What was it like? When the phone, I, I don't know, how do they contact you? Is it text messages? Uh, how does that work? They usually contact my coach, Coach Carter, over there. So all, all with him, he's been uh, putting me on a uh, map lately. And uh, it all happened super fast. Like the past April happened two months. So like it all just came super fast, and I didn't know how to take it. I bet. I mean, and, and you've whittled it down to these three schools. You've been to all three, correct? Yes, sir. I've been to all three. All right. So we'll more on that in just a bit. Let, let, we have some video of you playing ball. Can you talk a little bit? Obviously, what Coach Carroll liked was the fact that you're tall, strong, you're going to fill out, you're, a, you're big, but you can run. Does that pretty much sum up your athletic ability? Yes, sir. That really does. So what, what do you think you have to work on to play at the next level? Uh, I really just got to work on uh, my physicality and uh, really, as you said, and when you were picking schools, and when you made this decision ultimately, what were you looking for in the school? I was really looking for a family, and uh, somebody I feel like that's like my family type stuff, and like a real relationship with a coach, like other than football type stuff. So that's really what I found with the school I chose. And speaking of the family, that, that pretty much entails what the Hive is all about. It's a family environment. We have you giving back to your family. The other corner here at Lincoln, who is a pretty darn good football player who will be making his college announcement pretty soon, is also named Jaleel. Tucker spells a little bit differently. But you guys were seen on campus, I believe it was Tuesday of this week, working with kids, I believe. Tell us all what that's all about. Oh, We went over to my uh, dad's football practice, and we really just helped the little kids. Tell folks who your dad is. My dad is Warren Florence right there. Yeah, we're going to talk to him in a second. Yes, sir. All right, so tell us about the kids. Uh, we really went to go help the kids, just mentor them and stuff like that, and just help them out and let them know, like, we were in their shoes at one point and just have fun when they're playing a game of flag football. So that's really what we just did. We did. Right. Take a seat. We're going to get to you in a moment. Dad, can you come over here real quick? Tell us how proud you are of this moment. I'm extremely proud. Um, Jaleel has been nothing but a stellar, stellar kid, a student athlete, and everything he does, he does at a high level. Is it emotional? I mean, Absolutely. He's, he's a young man right now, but do you remember carrying him around and all the, the – can you remember the first game of catch with the football? Not the first game of catch, carrying around. I, I got to give that credit to his mother. I, I can't say I did carrying around, but definitely it was there at all the sporting events, making sure that he was uh, being the toughest athlete, the best athlete he possibly can be. Well, right, we're going to – very proud of Mom, can you talk to us a little bit? Come on. Come on, Mom. Come on. Everybody wants to hear from Mom. I, I'll hold the camera so we can show you, okay? Oh, hang on. All right. How excited are you about this moment? <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm very proud of him. Tell us about the. Tell us about your son. Um, he's an athlete. Does he? <laughs> does is he a good kid? He's chill. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a great kid. He, you know, he strive. He work hard. He put his mind to something, and he accomplish it. And so you have to be proud as punch right now. Yes. All right. I know you didn't want to do this. So I. <laughs> all right, uh, Coach Dunn. Uh, we're going to just quickly your thoughts about uh, yet another player that you've mentored uh, going to make it at the next level now. Um, great opportunity, great young man. 
Raised by great parents, um, good student athlete, never any issues out of the young man. This is extremely proud of him and excited to see how his future goes. And Jason, quickly, your thoughts about what, what makes this kid special? I just think his drive and uh, his need to want to be great. I think he has every opportunity to, to accomplish that. I think he can be uh, extremely good if he uh, applies himself and keeps on pushing. All right. Well, we've reached the moment. Right now, I'm going to hand you the microphone, but you got to hand it back to me, okay? Uh, how many people know your decision right now? Uh, probably just my parents, my coaches. Okay, I'm going to give you this. Yes, give me a second. Can we have the drum roll, please, back in the studio? I'll tell you when to start, okay? Yes, sir. Hang on. In three. Look at that camera and tell people where you're going to call. Uh, for for my uh, college academics and athletics, I'll be attending the University of Oregon. <laughs> All right, I have the, the the folks in Vegas. Come on, you come on. The folks in Vegas. <laughs> the folks in Vegas thought Oregon seems to have a pipeline not only in the San Diego, but they seem to have a direct pipeline into this school. Sure. Was there any doubt in your mind that it was going to be once Oregon got into the race? Did, was it going to be Oregon all along? Uh, not really, not really. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be that long, but once I got up there and I got the uh, feeling that they really made me a priority after school and stuff like that, and they really love everything I do down here in San Diego, it really was like a no-brainer. Uh, do we have the Instagram picture of all the Lincoln kids? I don't, I, I don't know if I glossed over that, but there's a, a picture of who all went to. Did you all go on the same visit? Yes, sir. Tell us about th that visit, and is that is that boding? Or, uh, do you think there, everyone's going to be going to Oregon? Yeah, de definitely. Everybody, their, their school just loves Lincoln High School. So when they come down to San Diego, this is the first school that they come to. And this is a straight pipeline straight to Oregon. So we just want to keep continuing it and get as much Hornets up to be a duck. We have pictures of, of the campus. I know they designed the recruiting experience to appeal to an 18-year-old kid uh, from the second you step on the ground. Give us a little idea what it's like when you, the, the, the things that open your eyes. Uh, it's, kind of, it's insane. There's a whole bunch of technology and stuff that I've never seen before. They really take care of their athletics and all their players and stuff like that. And it really shows how much they care about the uh, kids' bodies and stuff like that and how they perform in the field. Uh, it's one thing to be highly recruited. It's one thing to make your announcement on KUSI. But there's a big step now. Now you have to prove that you are worthy of all that attention. Talk about that pressure. Uh, it's not really no pressure, to be honest. I'm really, I was like, there's no pressure at all. I know I was born to uh, do stuff like this, so there's not really no pressure for me. Tell why people said you, you. Why did you want you tell people why you told me you wanted to do this on KUSI? I want to do this on KUSI because it's really in the backyard, and I see that they support San Diego a lot. And also because I, I just grew up watching PPR and stuff like that. Watching my uncle on PPR, Jimmy Pruitt. So that's really why I wanted to do it. A young man. It's, it means a lot to us and everybody at KUSI. Sir. We wish you nothing but good luck. Great. And we still have a football season to go through together, right? You're going to be featured prominently on the Week 1 Prep Picks Can Report in Carol's Corner. Uh, that's it for now.